Hello golfers, Jess Frank coming to you from the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. Today I'm in the bunker, practice bunker here at Deer Creek Golf Club and I want to give you a bunker lesson, bunker tip, uh, hitting shots out of here. Very simple way to do it. Um, so many people get you know, uh, intimidated by the sand and you watch the best players in the world and it's just like you know, nothing to it, right? They just stand over the ball, they relax, soft arms, soft hands and they swing through and the ball pops out every time. They hole out bunker shots. Some people would even say um, they prefer to be in the bunker rather than actually being in the rough around the greens. And so what I find most people doing, and there's a lot of, a lot of myths out there and people giving tips is that what happens is that they say, oh, you gotta hit two inches behind the ball and you have to you know, get underneath the ball, hit down in the sand and and it's hard enough to control your club head without thinking about two inches behind the ball. But absolutely, when you set up to this, set up to this golf ball, you wanna have more weight on your left leg or your front leg. And from there, you still have to make a pretty big golf swing to be able to splash the sand out. And so I'm always saying splash the sand. Um, what I love to do, one of my favorite drills to do, is I just draw a line in the sand. So I draw a line in the sand here and I just tell people, all right, let's just practice splashing the line out. And sure enough, they're not worried about hitting two inches behind it. They're just splashing the line out. And you're making a practice swing, okay, that's very soft with your arms and hands. So many people try to keep too much straight arms or hit down at the ball. They get a lot of tension in their hands and arms. And here, to this shot, we want to have less tension we want to be relaxed in our elbows and our shoulders and our hands and our, you know, but, you know, obviously you want to hold on to the club, but we have to be able to make a swing. So here's my line again. I'm going to go ahead and swing the club. So every single time when I'm swinging, I'm not worried about hitting two inches behind it. I'm just looking at this line here and I'm making a golf swing that's splashing the sand out every time. So then when I set up to the ball, I can put a ball right there, relaxing my arms and hands. Very, you know, a little more weight on the left foot. And from here, I'm able to splash the ball out of the sand. So that's what I'm looking for when I do this. So relax arms and hands. And you can see when I finish, my arms and hands are pretty relaxed. They're not straight out. My weight's not on my back foot. I don't have a lot of tension. So again, it's just like a normal golf swing, okay? Except this time, you're splashing the sand. So here I have a 56 degree wedge. I even open this up a little bit. I like to open up the wedge or open up the face just a fraction. And then from here, I'm able to make a nice little swing. The ball pops on the green. So this is how I like to practice bunker shots um, growing up at Mount Prospect Golf Club in Mount Prospect, Illinois. Um, spent a lot of time in the bunkers there, learning the bunker shots, hitting, geez, I mean, you know, thousands of bunker shots and really kind of understanding, you know, when I hit a bunker shot, I'm not trying for power, but I'm still making a swing that allows me to splash the sand. I'm moving my weight forward. You can see I'm not on my back foot. I'm not trying to help the ball up in the air. I'm not trying to hit down into the sand. I'm going ahead, I'm setting up balanced. And basically just every single time, ball's popping out of the bunker. So you can see there's a little bit of speed there as well. So it's not like I'm swinging super slow. I'm still making a, making a swing, making a motion because you are moving sand out of the bunker. So you're not, um, you're not just picking the ball but same thing, so relaxed hands and arms. That ball pops out of the bunker every single time. So this is something that you're still tilting your shoulders, extending your body, swinging the club around your body. I say one of my favorite drills for, for people uh, who are struggling out of the bunker is just put the club in their, in their trail hand. For me, it's my right hand. And I just wanna make swings where I finish all the way around my body. So you can see that I'm still turning through, but you can see as I swing through, okay, 
I don't have a lot of tension in my arms, my elbows, my shoulders. I'm still able to make a motion through the ball. And so just relaxing that, um, you know, making that one arm motion, it's really a good practice for you. Because I see so many people, they try to, they hit the sand and they stop or they're hitting at the ball. Um, they just have so many different swing thoughts going through their head that I love the right arm swing. And when I do the right arm swing, I always start by rocking the club forward first, then back. So they create some motion. So they're not just static. So you can see how I'm just swinging the club back through the ball or back through the sand. And every single time I'm able now to go ahead and make a motion and that ball pops out pretty simply. So, so bunker shots to me are pretty much my favorite shots. I love getting in green side bunkers because I know I'm always going to get out. And it's just dependent on how close the ball gets to the hole. So the keys to this motion, not trying to hit at the ball, not worrying about you're in the sand, you know, taking those, I would say you starting forward, back, then through, forward, back, and through. And you can see when I do this, my body's still moving. I still have hip turn. I still have chest turn. I still have my weight going forward. I'm not staying on my back foot. And then I'm not really worried about the sand because my arms are nice and soft. So when I swing through, I do a little practice swing. Highly recommend you get in your practice bunkers at your courses and, and spend some time if you're struggling with your sand shots. And that was my favorite one right there. So just doing the drills that I just did with my right arm, with those swings there, the momentum swings, I just created the best shot out of the bunker. So that's something that you can really remember that when you're doing this, that you're practicing this momentum drill, I'll call it the momentum drill to get out of the bunker. There's a lot of motion here. You know, there's not like I'm not just keeping my head down and trying to hit the sand. So I have mo momentum, I have um, motion. So again, if I, just, if I just started here, I would just swing forward, swing back with my trail arm and swing through. And you can see here, making this motion every single time. Every single time I'm hitting the sand out of the bunker. So I'm not trying to hit the sand out of the bunker, but that's what's happening because I don't have a lot of tension in my hands and arms. So you can see I'm doing that every time. Then I go ahead and I take a practice swing with two hands making the same feel and then I go ahead and I go ahead and hit the shot and sure enough again really solid coming out of the bunker I mean that's an awesome awesome way so I would say the momentum drill for the bunker if you're struggling making a motion try that I know that's going to help you so if you really enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel again Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel here at the beautiful Deer Creek Golf Club in the practice bunker behind the uh, driving range. So hopefully you get some value out of this and you understand um, that it helps you um, get out of the bunker, get up and down out of the bunker. You can save a ton of strokes. So please, if you really like this video, share it out with your friends, subscribe, leave a like button, let me know what you thought, and we'll keep helping. Thanks again, have a great day.